Hello everyone, welcome back to Sanitarium. Remember I mentioned at the end of the last episode that I was going to solve this puzzle before I came back? Well, I tried to do that, and I've been I've been successful, by the way. But the game kind of drove me insane in the process. See, it was crashing between like every 30 seconds and a minute. So, I looked up, um, I tried to find a picture of exactly what everything had to be configured to so that I could solve it really quickly, hopefully before it crashed. However, I had a hard time doing that. I ended up having to find a, a video on YouTube of someone has, having solved it, and then I took a picture of it with my camera, and I used the camera in front of my face while I was looking at the puzzle to solve it. However, it wasn't fast enough. It was crashing between, like, every two seconds to 30 seconds. Driving me insane, it took me about 10 crashes to finally solve the puzzle. And the only reason I was able to solve it is because, thank God, the puzzle solves the position that you put the pieces in, even after you leave the scene. So what I would do is just go into it, set a couple, and then go out, and then save. Go into it, set a couple, go out, and then save. And repeat about a million times. So this is off to a bad start, I'm very frustrated, but let's get past this, okay? Everything is set correctly. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to press the, uh, the finish button. Let's do that. These pipes... And I'm gonna do it fast before it fucking crashes. Okay, go, go. Oh god, thank you. Oh. Holy crap, that is blue water. That is really blue water. It looks so much nicer when it's filled. It looks like someone dumped, like, grape Kool-Aid into the water. But, uh, I guess it looks okay. -la -la -la. -la 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 -la. And she's dancing, of course. Why, why wouldn't she dance? That is a horrible loop of an animation. <laughs> you can see exactly where it loops. Right? There. And... There. I fixed your fountain. Has your friend returned? Oh, yes. I'm so happy. Crag has returned. Can't you see him? Isn't he glorious? Um, yes. Yes, Crag is glorious. I believe Crag is the reflection in the fountain? The reflection is moving. Uh, actually, the reflection is not moving. I guess um, someone forgot to animate it. But anyway. Hi, reflection. What does it mean? Ah, my spirit has been so dry. I do not know you, sir, but I thank you. What is your greatest wish? I wish that I could see my sister again. Max? Sarah would like to see you now. The Circus of Fools. Wow, so I watched What's this- What's happening to me? <gasps> well, we're at the circus. <laughs> and what a lovely circus it is. Hold on, let, let, me, let me put on my jacket. My hoodie. It's cold. The real reason I took off my hoodie, even though it's cold, is because I was getting so frustrated 
tried to solve that previous puzzle, that I was actually starting to sweat. I was getting worked up with that puzzle, but now, now I'm nice and calm. So, it's time to put it back on. Okay. I think I'm situated. So yeah, his sister... He watched his sister die. I don't know who's snoring, but please stop, it's really obnoxious, and where am I? Wait, what? Wait, I'm her? I'm her? Uh, what? I did not expect that. Okay. Is that my sister? Like, is this my s- Oh, shut up! He's got a big red nose like Santa. Well, bless my soul! How on earth did you get here, little girl? I don't know, mister. All I remember is looking in the water and then this flash of light. The next thing I knew I was here. I'm kind of scared because I don't remember much. No, no. No need to be scared, my dear. Using my world-renowned powers of deduction, I'd say that you were in a boat and fell overboard. The tide swept you up and plopped you down here, safe and sound. Why, I'm sure your family is looking for you as we speak. Something tells me they aren't, and okay, yeah, I am playing my sister. I, th I think that's her. It looks like her in that picture down there. Wow. This game is... This is kind of amazing. I didn't expect it to switch this much. I mean, we're already going between really interesting and diverse environments, but now you even get to play as a different character. I really like this. This is really cool. My name's Sarah. What's yours? What? Why, I'm Antonio Baldini, genius showman and ringmaster extraordinaire. Really, you're a master of rings. Truly something to be proud of. But where are we? Where am I? You don't know. Then you're in for quite a treat, little girl. Because directly behind me is the most fantastical spectacle this world has to offer. Huh? Okay, game crashed. Let's try this again. What is behind you, Baldini? Other than a floating corpse. Oh, God, that is disgusting. Look at all those just rotting body parts. Ugh. Where am I? You don't know. Then you're in for quite a treat, little... Huh? Can it be that you've never heard of the world-famous Baldini Brothers' amazing traveling circus? Say it's not so. Why, only a few dollars will open the doors of magic. Okay, welcome back. The game crashed again and again, and I'm sure it would have crashed again and again. Yeah. Um, so I just I just really, really fast ran through the conversation. It, not too important. Yeah, there's a circus. Um, I, didn't, I don't have any money or anything like that, but Baldini was generous and gave me this. A free pass for the squid squash. Let me save it just in case it crashes again, dear God. Okay, yeah, I might have to just do that sometimes, just cut over parts basically and run through them really fast. To avoid the crash monster. So when I was reading the forums for this game about the stability problems that it has on at least Windows 7 and up, Again, it, it should run fine on XP and Vista, after all, that's what it's rated for, running fine on. Um, but when it comes to Windows 7, I heard some people say that it has big it has big crashing issues early on, but that it gets more stable as you go on. I hope that's true, because this seems to be the worst section. Between the water puzzle and this, where it crashed two times, while well, pretty much in the same, almost the same spot of a conversation with Mr. Baldini. This seems to be a very big problem area, so I'm hoping this stops. Please, please stop, game. I, I really want this to keep working. Because if it keeps doing this, if it does this constantly, I, I can't keep playing. I'm not gonna play for like, two minutes crash, two minutes crash, two minutes crash, that, no, just no. So I really hope it gets better. Let's find out. So yeah, this place is um, totally sick. Look at this. Wait a minute, I didn't even look at this book. Or whatever this is. That's not a book, actually. Those are binoculars. I can see everything through these. Oh, yeah. Why don't you look at the floating head?
Well, that was fascinating. Yuck. Yuck. Ooh, balloons. The water. It's so dirty. I can't see the bottom. That's because it's filled with the putrefying remains of people. Oh, can I not get on this walkway? Hmm. hmm What's that? Vodka. Ooh, vodka. I'm sure that'll come in handy. And what the heck am I hearing in there? Hmm. Vodka. Oh, I can't pick it up. Hmm. Seriously, what is that? It sounds like... It sounds demonic. Um, okay, let's find out. Hi. Well, these people look... Normal. S sort of. That person doesn't look normal. What the hell is making that noise? doing? She's doing something with her hand, but what is that? I have no idea. He can juggle with only one arm. Oh, he's only got one arm. I didn't even realize that. That's impressive. That's very impressive. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Lefty, for obvious reasons. <laughs> You're very good. I am, aren't I? <laughs> I can juggle anything. Really? Yeah, but I'm getting bored. No one challenges me anymore. Hmm. Well, I'll have to come up with a challenge for you. Such a beautiful costume. Wow. Do you really breathe fire? Do you, Jennifer, take this man, Max, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do, do breathe fire, that's right. What's your name, little girl? My name's Sarah. What's yours? Well, my real name's Jennifer Lang. But you can call me by my stage name. Inferno. Inferno? Didn't expect that one. Didn't, nope, didn't see that one coming. Okay, so it looks like a lot of the characters that I'm encountering, or even playing as in this case, are from Max's mind, from Max's life. Because this would appear to be his wife, or ex-wife, or something like that. And obviously I'm playing as his sister. Tell me about your costume. That's a pretty costume. Why, thank you. You're just the sweetest little girl. You're like the daughter I always wanted. Why don't you have one? My husband and I never had the chance to start a family. Hmm. Tell me about your husband. What happened? He and the other performers were trying to reach the other island when they were attacked by that squid freak. I didn't go because I get seasick easily. He said he'd go check it out, and if it was safe, he'd come back for me. He never came back. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right, dear. You didn't know. I just wish I had someone to pass down my secret of fire breathing to. Well, I... I'll take your secret of fire breathing. Oh, me, me! Please teach me! Hmm... I don't know. You're awfully young. Please! Well... Okay. But before we get started, you'll need some fuel. I'm running low on my own well, I know just the thing. Vodka. Which is sitting about two feet to your left, I think. Who lives in that big spooky house on the other island? No one, I think. That's why my Geraldo was trying to go over to it. He thought we could live there. Who's Geraldo? He was my husband. I never saw a circus on an island before. <laughs> if you call this a dump a circus. Yeah, it doesn't exactly seem like they get a lot of visitors here. Not sure how they could actually run a business at a location like this. 
not a lot of people, it's on an island, and also the floating body parts, right where you seem to dock or come in, um, might kind of keep some visitors away, you know? Let's grab that vodka. There's that noise again. Okay, it's not coming from the tent, it's coming from somewhere to the left. And it sounds horrifying. Wait, seriously, I can't grab it? Okay, never mind, I'm not using that as fuel. Oh my, what big arms he has. <sighs> my name's Sarah. What's yours? Mino Gino. Strongest man alive. Yeah. Well, you don't seem that mean. You seem pretty nice. Wow. You sure got lots of muscles. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a lot more, but I just kind of let myself go since the flood. That was a big flood, huh? Yeah, we're stuck here until the water goes down. I lost half my weight in that flood. I'm gonna be a puny weakling like those rotten clowns by the time we get rescued. The flood? What flood? <laughs> Ugh, poo, he stinks. <sighs> no way. Poor sad little clown. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Simon. Simon the Sad Clown. Do you like it here at the circus? No, my sister is a real pain in the ass. Who's your sister? Why is she so mean to you? Oh, I don't know. She was always kind of mean. But when her dog died, man, that pushed her over the edge. And there ends the saga of Simon the Sad Clown. I hope she doesn't throw one of those at me. My name's Sarah. What's yours? What the to ya, you little snot? You don't have to be so mean. I was just asking. I was just asking. Ha! Huh. My name is Trixie. Try to remember it. I'm going to try to scrub it from my mind. Do you like it here at the circus? Are you for real? This blows. The only enjoyment I get these days is creaming my stupid brother. I don't think that's very nice. Shut up. I don't remember asking you about what you thought, you shrimp. Boy, you aren't a very friendly clown. I thought clowns were supposed to be happy and nice. Is that so? Well, most clowns aren't stuck in a run-down circus on an island, waiting to get eaten by some giant freak. A giant freak? What? Could you explain that, please? Is, is there a giant somewhere around here? I guess, well, that shouldn't surprise me, right? What do you mean, waiting to get eaten? What freak? The goddamn squid. I knew it was bad news the day Antonio brought him. Christ, he ate my dog. The first day he was here. Poor Mr. Pooper. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry? Oh, that's great, kid, but it won't bring back my dog. You get away from me before I nail you with a pie. Did she seriously name her dog Mr. Poopers? What the fuck? Why would you name any pet that? That's a horrible name. <laughs> Alright, so apparently there's a big, mean, giant squid somewhere, and it just so happens, what is my ticket for? A free pass for the squid squash. The squid squash. I'm guessing that's somehow connected. Hello, Mr. Baldini. Why, hello, Sarah. Are you enjoying the fabulous circus? Why, yes I am, but please don't make my game crash again like you did back there, okay? Um... Am I enjoying the circus? Sh uh, no. Well, um, no. What? Surely you have not seen all our miraculous exhibits. Take more time to peruse over each one again. Okay. All right, all right. Let's go take a look at what's here. Step right up and test your skills. Only one ticket. 
and you Holy master the Hey, weren't there some people here? Where'd they go? Your skill. One ticket buys you a chance at the pig shoot. Oh, there's the squid squash. I'm guessing I'm going to squash some squids. Oh, hi, you have a tiny head. Dear God, you have a small head. Are you okay? D does it hurt? These houses look so sad. Like they're going to fall down any minute. Oh, uh, what? What houses are you talking about? I'm, I'm pointing at the person. He's so big and round. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Like I. Like I? Yeah, like I give a rat's ass your name Sarah. <laughs> okay. Do you like it here at the circus? Yeah, this is a real paradise. Maybe when I get done talking to your dumb ass, I'll go have a martini by the pool. You sure do cuss a lot. So? What are you gonna do? Tell my mommy. Oh dearie me, whatever shall I do? No, actually, I think I was thinking I'd stab you in the eye with something sharp. Some some sharp object, sharp rusty object I might be able to find over here by the flowers. Looks like there's some rubble here. I think that might do. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> that balloon looks silly on your head. Oh, does it? Thank goodness you were here to tell me that. Whatever would I have done without your keen powers of observation? You're mean. Shut up. Ah, uh, get bench, you little runt. I think I'll find that I'm very hard to bend. For I am made out of spring steel. Goodbye. Please get out of my way. But please, please, get the, get the fuck out of my... <clears throat> really? Did your... Did your patrol path, or whatever you want to call it, really have to go right here to blah? Okay. Fine. I can be patient. I can be patient. I'm just gonna watch. Just gonna watch. How does he have unlimited balloons? He, he's blowing one up. Blow, pop. Blow, pop. Blow, pop. Where, where's it coming from? He has some sort of unlimited balloon dispenser. Is he seriously not going to move? Really? Let me see if I can examine stuff while I'm waiting for him to do that. Wow, they have games! I've never heard of this game before. Neat! His arm is a fishing pole! Wait, what? It is? Interesting. Wow, they have games! Okay. Has he moved yet? Please, please... Did he move? Seriously? Oh, thank God! And now he- wow, he sealed me in. Now I can't leave. Okay. I'll take it. What the hell is that thing? Let's look at it later. She must be cold. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Where'd you come from, you little imp? I haven't seen you around here before. I just arrived here. I don't quite remember how, though. That's a convenient story, isn't it? Bah! Heaven help us, the sinners are breed and mar their kind. They're as evil as the rest of those godforsaken freaks. Freaks? Oh, I guess you're talking about all of the circus? I'm not a freak. I'm just a little girl. <laughs> Me, you little devil. I know the ways of Beezlebub. You can alter your appearance at will. Why, you're probably in league with the watery abomination that's killing us all off one by one. I guess she's talking about the squid. And I just realized, maybe it's the squid that killed all of those people that are floating in the water. Actually, that's pretty much a sure thing, I guess. Abomin... What? Oh, stop pretending as if you don't know, you wicked little specter. I'll not fall into your web of lies. Your kind brought about the damnation of our town with your vulgar display of profanity. Vulgar display of profanity. I don't fucking curse. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Maybe he's nicer. Oh, he looks so sad. <laughs> My name's Sarah. What's yours? Me name is Colin O'Leary, and me wife here is Martha. 
Okay, well, he seems nicer so far. I don't think your wife likes me that much, Mr. O'Leary. Ah, she doesn't like anybody. Not even me. Ever since the flood, she's not been the same woman. I can't even have a civil conversation with her anymore. She's convinced I'm some sort of demon. Oh, yeah, that seems to be going around. She seems to think everyone's a demon. What happened to the rest of the town folk? Most of them were killed in the flood. A few survivors, like me family, came up here to find shelter. Where are they? I don't see anyone but your family. We're all that remain. That squid thing has been picking us off one by one. Okay, look, n no offense, okay? I'm sure it's been horrible, but... As long as you stay on land, how do you get killed by a squid? Like, I I'm, I'm just saying. As long as you stay on land, you can't really be killed by a squid, right? So, I have to think. If a bunch of you died, they probably weren't too sharp, you know what I'm saying? But how can it? We're high up from the water. Since it's been in the open water, it's grown to almost triple its original size. At night sometimes, I've seen its long tentacles probing the ground, searching for us. Can't you do anything? I am afraid not. We're all doomed. Oh, apparently it's a freaking massive squid. So long, so big that it can actually kill people on land with its tentacles. Okay. What happened to the town? A flood. The old prospect dam just beyond Grandview Point finally burst after years of neglect. How did that happen? It was just sort of forgotten over the years. Uh, we knew that it needed repairs, but we took it for granted. Thought it would last one more year. After all, a town only has so much money to spend, and other things always seemed to be more important at the time. I guess we were wrong. Yeah, that sort of thing happens. I guess that's the kid? I hope that's a kid. But if it is a kid, then what is it in? It looks like it's in like a sack or something. What, what am I looking at? Hey, another kid! My name's Sarah. What's yours? Wow! Another kid! That's swell! Even if you are just a girl. My name's Sean. Are we the only kids here? Yeah, it sucks. I get real lonely all by myself. I don't have anyone to play with. If you're so lonely, why don't you go to the circus? There's lots to do there. Mama says I can't. She says the circus is for evil folks. And they brought the flood down on us with their sin and ways. That's silly. How could they have? I don't know. Mama knows the best. Sorry to say it, but Mama doesn't know anything. Do you always obey your Mama? Most of the time. What do you mean, most of the time? Well, I snuck out and went over to the big top one night, even though Mama said not to. It was pretty boring. Most everybody was sleeping, except the strong man. He was writing some sap of love poems or something. They were pretty bad. I remember one went like this. Oh, Inferno, you make my heart burn out. <laughs> oh, God, that is really horrible. All right, so apparently the strong man likes Inferno. Could be useful. Is this section of the island your home now? Yeah, if you can call this a home. It's just a bunch of cruddy shacks. Where's all the other families? Me and my folks are all that's left. There used to be a lot more, but they kept disappearing. What's happening? No one knows for sure. We think it's that monster. Monster? Yeah, that squid thing. My dad says it's just a matter of time before it gets us all. Oh, I don't want to be eaten. Well, glad I could cheer you up by reminding you about the giant squid thing that's going to eat your face and your entire family. Goodbye. Keep wondering if I can pick up this stuff on the ground. These houses look so sad. Like they're going to fall down any minute. Yeah, it looks like they're made out of like, random sheets and a bit of corrugated metal and barrels and stuff. They're about as ramshackle as you can get. I seriously don't even know what I'm... I still don't know what I'm looking at. It's a kid, and it looks like he's inside of, like, a stuffed bear thing or something. He just looks weird. The water. It's so dirty. I can't see the bottom. 
My name's Sarah. What's yours? Well, I'll be. Antonio wasn't crazy after all. There really is a customer. My name is Carl Rice, but you can call me Ishmael. <laughs> hmm. I operate this squid squash game. Well, it looks really fun, I guess. I mean, what the hell do you do? You just squash a squid and that's it? Um, okay. I guess it's a release for the local townsfolk. A way for them to um, face their fears, since they're being hunted by a giant squid. What are you reading? What book are you reading? Is it a comic book? What? This is a classic, young lady, not some piece of trash. It's the epic saga of a man obsessed with killing a great white whale. Oh, that poor whale. No, no, no. You're missing the point. The whale is the manifestation of all earthly evils, and the man's pursuit is... Oh, forget it. <laughs> May I play, please? Sure, if you have three tickets. I have a squid squash pass that Mr. Baldini gave me. That's good enough. Here you go. Excellent. Whee! <laughs> Chapter six. Well, that was fun. I don't even know what that did. It did, uh, did like, can you even win anything? I've never heard of this game before. Squid Squash? How do you play? Oh, it's quite simple, little girl. It's a test of might. After you give me your tickets to play, I'll give you the anchor. You heave it up, and then squash the squid head here as hard as you can. That will send a blob of ink up its tentacle. The higher it goes, the more tickets you win. Why do I need more tickets? You need them to go on the rides, of course. Oh. May I play, please? Sure, if you have three. Uh Splen- Am I actually getting tickets for this? Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I actually gain tickets? Look, I have some game tickets. Oh shit, I did. Okay, um, let's keep going. Do it a couple more times, why not? May I- we I just love that bit of voice acting. <laughs> okay, how many do I have? Eleven? Okay, I don't know how many I need. But hopefully that's enough for now. I'll knock them down. One ticket per throw. I have enough tickets. Give it your best shot, little girl. Try not to hurt yourself. Ha ha ha. Did did he say har ha ha? Who says that? No one says that. Whee! <laughs> it's the same sound. Holy crap! What an arm! You busted up my pins. So do I win anything? What's the result of that? Let's do it again. Can I play again? Is your memory as short as you are? You broke my game, remember? Beat it! Okay, Jesus. Look, I have some game tickets. Okay, I guess I won more tickets. Whee! Pig shoot. Wow, they have games. I'll take a shot. One ticket, little missy. I have enough tickets. Keep your eyes on the pigs. And your finger on the trigger. Seems like a win at every game. Let me guess. She's hmm. gonna say. She's gonna say we. We. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice shooting, Eagle Eye. Step right up. More tickets. Let me guess. Let me guess what she's gonna say when she wins. I'd like to try. One ticket, if you please. I okay, welcome back. The game crashed. Let's do the last one. Ring toss. Come on. Come on. I'd like to try. One ticket, if you please. I have enough tickets. All right, little miss. 
Give it a try. We? We? We. We have a winner. We do have a winner. Now I have Look, 16 tickets. I, I love the fact that they use the exact same sound for when you win every single game. It's it is hilarious. Seriously, I actually like the fact that they did that. It's actually really, really funny. I don't know if it was on purpose or just... Or just kind of cheap production values, but... I love it. Oh god, look at that thing. Ew. Whoa, those don't look too safe. That thing looks terrifying. Um, also, there's a button right there. Spooky. Spooky. I think that's a button. Hmm. Might need to do something with that at some point. Okay. What's over here? I think this is just a dead end, right? Oh no, it just goes back up to there. Wee! little wagon. I guess it is kind of cute. Although I would not actually want to stand in it because it is inches from the edge. And this thing has wheels. Yeah, I would not want to stand here. This is actually kind of terrifying. But hey, it's on blocks, so that's good enough. Uh, hi. What the hell are you doing? What is that? Oh, wow. Look at all the pictures. Oh, wow. This man has pictures all over his body. It says rubbing alcohol. Ew! Smells like clown breath. Clown breath smells like rubbing alcohol? Ew. Rubbing, rubbing alcohol smells horrible. Yuck. The needle doesn't look very clean. Mm. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Oh, ain't you just precious. As if it ain't bad enough being stuck on this freaking island. Now I gotta wet nurse some little brat. You're mean. Yes, yeah, so what? When you's come into Wilbur Smith's wagons, you play by my rules, kid. Well, you're an asshole. Is he, is he even sitting on a chair or is he just like kneeling? I don't even see a chair beneath him. Tell me about your alcohol. Do you drink this stuff? What? Of course not! I use this stuff for cleaning the customer's skins before I tattoo them. Ooh, those look sharp. Don't touch! It ain't for little brats like you to play with. Well, rubbing alcohol would actually make an excellent fuel, for it is almost entirely made out of alcohol, which is very flammable. May I have a bottle of rubbing alcohol? Inferno is going to teach me how to breathe fire. She is, is she? Ain't you a little young to do that? No, I'm almost eight and a half. Oh, uh, well, hell, why not? I sure as hell ain't using it. I had a buttload of this crap just sitting around going to waste. Knock yourself out, kid. Wait, seriously? In an adventure game, you always have to, like, jump through hoops to get something. He actually just gave me it. Not only that, but he's a total dick, and he still just gave me it. That is extremely surprising. Wow, okay, I thought I'd need to, like, go on some grand quest and... get him something that required me to go through a dark cave and... I don't know, do all sorts of other crazy stuff. Like, defeat the giant squid and bring me its... a tentacle. Ooh, can I have a tattoo? What? Ha! Come back in about ten years, kid. Tattoo is only for my adult customers. Yeah, about your customers. Where are all your customers, mister? Well, you ain't the brightest bulb in the string, is you? There ain't no customers. We're stranded on this crappy island. The only human being to land on this rock since the flood is you. And you're too freaking young for me to ink. 
That was a big flood, huh? No, it was a little tiny flood. Now quit asking me stupid questions. How about you go put a tattoo on your eye, asshole? <laughs> that noise is really disturbing. I think it's coming from here. Alright, I can go get taught how to breathe fire. Or I can check out the rest of the stuff. Um, let's go do the fire breathing while I'm up here. Let's hope that asshole is not blocking the way. God, please don't be. Okay, he's not. Whew. Now's my chance. Go. Dun 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 dun. Mission complete. Never mind. Mission fail. Fuck. I can't walk underneath the ropes. Ah. Seriously, dude. Look, I have some game tickets. It says rubbing alcohol. Here. Why don't you douse them in it and light them on fire? Maybe I'll try it later. Mm. Okay, okay, fine. Explore the rest and I'll come back and hope he isn't blocking the way. This is so stupid. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm, I might be able to get past him. Maybe. Okay, okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay, whew. All right, Inferno. Should I? Oh, I couldn't. Wait, what? That would hurt. Okay, I guess I need to do it through dialogue. But first, about those poems. Actually, no, teach me how to breathe fire first. I got a bottle of rubbing alcohol. Will this work? Sure. Now, let's see. What else do you need? First off, I'll give you one of my old fire batons. Second, you can light it here in my fire barrel. That should be it. Are you ready? Watch me carefully, and then you try it. Okay. Okay, now you try it. You did it. You're a natural. Oh, I've got talent. Not sure what I'm going to use that for, but I'm probably going to be burning something, so cool. Now, about the strongman. I know who's been sending you love poems. What? How did you find out I was getting them? I haven't told a soul. I can't tell you how I found out, but I know that Gino the strongman is sending them. Oh, no. That big oh. Oh, my goodness. He was dating half the girls from the High Wire Act before the Flood. How could I- Whoops, I did not mean to skip that. I accidentally clicked. Sorry, say it again. I know who's- What? I can't tell- Oh no. How can I take that man seriously? That's, that's the part we missed. Sorry. I didn't mean to. <sighs> what if he tattoos your name on his arm? No. Oh, I don't know. If you were willing to do that, maybe it would be a start. Just between you and me, I've been awfully lonely since my husband went away. Well, since I think you're my wife and I am your old husband reincarnated as my sister, given those two things, I think I can arrange, um, arrange something between you two. Hey, Strongman. I used to be your husband, but now I'm the husband's, uh, sister. But my mind is still like the husband, and I want you to get with my wife, okay? Can you do that? Can you please get a tattoo? My ex-wife is lonely. Yeah. I know you're the one writing love poems to Inferno. Why don't you just tell her? If you love her, you should let her know. Uh, what? I... Uh, uh no! <laughs> oh... Uh, oh, crap. Uh, uh, how did you figure it out? I mean, I'm afraid to tell her. Afraid? A big guy like you? Yeah, uh, yeah. I could bend a steel bar around my neck, but I'm scared of telling her how I feel. But why? 
she won't take me seriously. She thinks I'm just a big dummy. I don't know how to really prove my love. But I know how you can do it. Make something that is... Uh, you can do something that is probably going to be a mistake you will, you will regret for the rest of your life. Permanently tattoo something onto your skin. How about a big tattoo of her name on your arm? Hey, that's not such a bad idea. If that don't prove how serious I am, then I don't know what is. <gasps> uh... He just went invisible. Okay. Sure, why not? Now that plan should go perfectly. So long as they never break up and they live happily ever after. Otherwise, the tattoo will always remember, remind him of a past relationship. Yeah, that's pretty likely. I'm sure it'll go perfectly fine, because the vast majority of people stay together for the rest of their lives, right? Yeah. I'm assuming he's going to be over at the tattoo parlor. Yes, he is. Ooh, you're getting a real tattoo? Cool! What is it? It's a big heart with Inferno's name on it. Uh, I hope this gets her attention. Wow, you must really love her. Uh, yeah, I do. She was always too good for that skinny sword swallower. She needs someone who can protect her from Iggy. Who's Iggy? Why does she need to be protected? Iggy stays in the water, right? Well, I ain't taking no chances. He's getting pretty big out there. It's just a matter of time now. Oh, Iggy is... Iggy is the name of the giant squid. Okay. Let's go check out the rest of the games. Or whatever else is down there. Looks like this is a fun house. The thing directly beneath me. How many tickets do I have? Sixteen. What is that? Inferno says I can use the baton to breathe fire. Oh, it's the baton. Okay. For a mere five tickets, dare to experience for yourself the world's most amazing. Okay, please tell me this sand is not going to have those horrible, loud walking sounds. Okay, good. Hi. You look like, um, you a bit, look a bit like it. How you doing? Please don't eat my face. That kind of scares me. No way. You do look quite a bit like it. Uncannily like it, from what I vaguely remember. I've, tr I've tried to forget it, because I watched it when I was quite young. The miniseries or whatever. Never read the book. I, I tried to scrub it from my mind. But there's still a little bit of it left. And that looks a lot like it. So I'm gonna walk away from it. Goodbye. Hmm, vodka. <laughs> More vodka. Hmm. It looks fun, but the animals scare me. What else should I do? Let's see if it turns on. This must be for the merry-go-round, but it's all rusted up. Hmm. How can I get rid of the rust? Rubbing alcohol? What else should I do? Nah, what if I breathe fire I on it? I don't think I can... And... That didn't work. Actually, hold on. If I wanted to breathe and fire, how would I do it? Can you actually combine items? No. It says Inferno says I can use the baton. You probably just use the baton on the item to breathe fire, I think. What else should I? Yeah, and that wouldn't even make any sense. How would that undo rust? Uh, can I go around here? Am, am I going? No. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and for a mere Hi. He looks like Mr. Potato Head. Put together wrong. <laughs> my name's Sarah. What's yours? Stuart Limkin, my good child. 
a purveyor of earthly oddities, if you will, a peddler of the perverted beasts that lurk in the shadows of your mind. I am a collector of freaks, and I humbly welcome you to my monument of monstrosities. Oh, that sounds lovely. Can I please get inside? Where do the freaks come from? Does it really matter, child? They have been assembled here for your entertainment, kept safely behind iron bars so you can observe at your leisure. How many tickets to get in? A mere five tickets. Half of ten, and... Ah, damn it, I did not mean to skip that. I don't know why, but I keep accidentally clicking a mouse button. I'm sorry. What did How I miss? Many a mere five tickets. Half of ten, and one less than half a dozen. A small price to pay to see what few will encounter in the space of a lifetime. I've heard that one of your freaks got loose during the flood, and now he's eating everyone who goes in the water. The forces of Mother Nature are not mine to wield, my girl. During the Great Calamity, Iggy took the opportunity to free himself from the shackles of man and returned once more to his watery domain. Who am I to judge this misunderstood creature? Misunderstood? How do you know it's misunderstood? I mean, as far as I know, all anyone knows about it is that it was locked up by him and then it got out during the flood and now it's eating people and is growing huge. Well, I would like to go inside. Let me see what's over here first, though. Probably nothing. Hi. Those people joined at the back? Ladies and gentlemen, boys. Ew, they're connected. For a mere five tickets. My name's Sarah. What's for yours? The my name's Matt, and my sister's name is Ashley. You're connected. That's what Siamese twins the are, pretzel. Sarah. The human pretzel. Wonder Wonderful, goodbye. Alright, um, voice. can I get inside? Look. Thank you. Now, step lively, little girl, for the gallery of the grotesque awaits. Wonderful. I'm sure what I will see in here will warm my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, for a mere five tickets, dare to experience for yourself the Wait, how far do I have to go in? Like, is this it right here? What is that? I can't the tell if he's a man or a big dog. At the sight of the ferocious dog boy. My name's Sarah. What's yours? <laughs> Timber. <laughs> go away, kid. Before I eat you. What a terrible thing to say. I was just being friendly. If you want to be friendly, release me from this damn cage. Um, okay, I can do that. Why not? If I let you out, you'll eat me. You said so yourself. Promise. I, I promise not to. If you let me out. How could I trust you? You look like you'd eat the first thing you get your hands on. Uh, no, not you. I, I want... I smell bones. Uh, sweet scent of marrow. Uh, driving me mad. Uh, I'm starving. Uh, I want out. Will you lead me to the bones? Uh, sure. I'm pretty sure I can trust this, right? Yeah, I think I can trust him. He seems trustworthy. You can smell bones? Where are they? I haven't seen any on this entire island. Buried. Deep. Or underground. I can smell them. I can. I'll dig them up. Gee, I don't know. Oh, uh, please, kid. I'm dying in this wretched cage. Uh, I need out. Why doesn't Stuart just open your cage? Doesn't he have a key? Uh, key lost. 
Damn, Stuart lost it. Need to pick it open now. Oh. Well. Do I actually need a pick, or can I just, like, burn Look, it open? I have some Inferno sets. I don't... That would hurt. Okay, can't do that. Well, I guess I need to learn how to lockpick. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm only a, what, eight-year-old girl? Yeah. Ladies I'm pretty sure I can trust that thing. Yeah, yeah. Boys it seems friendly. For a mere five tickets, dare to experience Hi. for yourself He's all bendy. the most amazing My name's Sarah. What's yours? I... And Pretzul, the master the of elasticity. Wonder mm. at the Can you light up a light bulb? Dog boy. No, no, not electricity. Elasticity. What does that word mean, mister? That means uh, I can twist and stretch myself into many different shapes. How long have you been a freak in the circus? For many years now. I've seen quite a few freaks come and go, but that squid boy was the worst of the lot. The squid boy? Okay, so it wasn't just a squid, it was a squid boy. So I'm assuming I'm probably going to be able to talk with it, right? Hmm. If something tells me I'm going to understand the misunderstood squid boy and maybe help it escape or or something, or convince it to go somewhere else? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for a mere five tickets, dare to experience okay. for yourself the world's most so that's amazing it. collection of freaks. Now where do I go? Assembled. See Pretzel, the human pretzel. Do I need five tickets to get in every time? I probably do. Okay, okay. I can breathe fire, I have rubbing alcohol, and some tickets, and that's it. Oh, poo. Maybe the strong man can is strong enough to push it, even though it's rusted? Hmm, so he's still going to be getting a tattoo, or has he gotten it yet? I feel like I'm forgetting that I can do something. Really? Okay, dear god. Ah, uh, I can't get around him. Of course I can't get around him. Why? Oh, and he moved. Whatever, I'm going the other way. Screw you. You dick. You massive dick with a small head. <laughs> we I'm really suspicious about that thing that looks like a button. Spooky. It seriously looks like a button. And step right up and test your skill. I don't think one ticket. Can you master the rape car? It looks like at some point I'm going to be able to get down here, but I don't know how to get there yet. I think I need to use the carousel to get to it. Yeah, I probably do. Alright, is he still in here? He is, okay. Can't you see I'm busy? Scram, you nosy little brat! Alright, alright, Jesus. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I take his utensils? <laughs> ah! He's occupied! Yuck! The needle doesn't look very clean. Well, now I can pick a lock. Perfect. Keep forgetting to quick save. Don't forget to quick save in this game. I just made like 10 quick saves because I can. Well, let's just hope he doesn't eat my face off. Thank you. Hmm. 
Okay, let's get some bones. I don't I don't know why I want bones. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but we're about to do it. Here we go. Maybe I'll try it later. Oh, never mind. I guess I do actually need a reason. Fair enough, I really don't have a reason yet. So where does that leave me? There's gotta be something I can do with the fire breathing, but what? What can I do with the fire breathing? What could I possibly do with the fire breathing? You know what, let's go back and talk to the owner, or manager, or whatever he is, Mr. Baldini. And this time, I'm going to tell him that I'm enjoying the circus. And let's see where that goes. Because last time I said no, and that's kind of where the conversation pretty much just ended. Wait, what? I can only say no again? I can't say yes? Well... What? Okay. Inferno, guess what? Gino is getting a tattoo for you. Really? Maybe I misjudged him. He must have meant what he said in those sweet, simple poems. Wonderful. G great. I'm sure they'll be good together. They won't be. They'll be horrible for each other. Hmm. And burn Can I burn Baldine? No, I can't. I really can't think of what to do. Yuck. The needle doesn't look very clean. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna figure out what to do and I will be right back. Okay, I took a look at a walkthrough and found a couple things. Once again, it's pixel hunty stuff that I missed because, well, it's really hard to tell what you can interact and what you can't because there's no sort of a hotspot indicator or anything like that. So, when you play the knockout game, which I did, or the knockdown game, this pin falls out and you can take it. So, there we go. And there's something else to pick up that I also missed. And it's up here. <laughs> I'm supposed to pick up the gas can. There's apparently a gas can here. Is is that is that the gas can? An oil can. Oh, oil can. Sorry. <sighs> These houses look so sad, like they're going to fall down any minute. So yeah, it's just pixel hunty stuff that I, I'm missing. Stuff that looks exactly the same as everything else in the environment, but somehow you're supposed to know that you can interact with it? I feel absolutely no shame in using a walkthrough. Okay, so here's what we do next. I'm going to challenge the person who doesn't feel very challenged about juggling. Lefty. Gonna painstakingly walk over to the tent until I can talk to him. Here we go. An oil. Here's a challenge. Hey, finally a challenge! Thanks, little girl. Here's a present for you. Whoop! <laughs> Thanks! You're welcome! Okay, and he gives me a ball, I believe. It's yes. a red rubber juggling ball. What I do with that, I have... What I do with that, I have no idea, but I do know what to do next. Now I have an oil can, so I can go oil the thing for the carousel. And now we painstakingly walk... 
down to the carousel. I'm running out of air. Walk faster, walk faster. <laughs> I didn't make it, sorry. Seriously, I really wish you could run, or just, like, warp somewhere by double-clicking there. But no. An oil... Whee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, um, why is it not running? Whee! <laughs> Again? Uh-oh. They... Uh -oh. Are they really going to keep using that again and again? Oh, poo. Aw, oh, dang it. Conveniently stopped at a location at a, in a way that allows me to get past. Very inconveniently convenient. Well, this place looks... Interesting. It's a haunted house. Or a fun house, or whatever you call them. Step on up to the sign, Twerp. Spanky will see if you goes in or not. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Throw this one back in the water, Spanky. She's too small. Aw, I need to be that tall to ride it? I guess he runs the fun house. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Oliver Tweed. And I may say that I have never seen so little as Sarah in my life. You're small, kid. S.M. All. Ha dee ha ha! Very funny. Actually, that wasn't funny at all. Please go drown yourself. Or get killed by a squid. Either would do. Who's that clown on the roof? That's Spanky the Clown. He sits on the roof so he can see far and wide. Why? He's looking for the little bastard that stole his nose from the sign over there. Some little brat, who looked just like you, stole it in the last town we were in. Really? It just so happens I have a certain red ball that looks kind of just like a nose of a clown. Hmm. Maybe he'll forgive me for being too short if I do that. How many tickets to get in? It don't matter to you, runt. Spanky's arm was way over your head, so I'm scrape. Come back in about three years. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Okay, Shrimpo, step up to the sign and Spanky will. Oh, yeah. See? What the? Huh. I guess you're okay, Stretch. Thank you. Spanky likes me. It looks much better now that it's got a nose. I don't think I can go there. Oh, do I need to give him tickets? Oh, five tickets. Look. Thanks, Squirt. The House of Horror awaits. I can hardly contain my excitement. Children of all ages, come one, come all. There you enter the House of Horror. Recoil in utter terror at the fearsome spectacle that awaits you inside. He can hardly contain his excitement. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Spooky. 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 Okay, I figured out now that this is spooky. Spooky. Get this off me! Out! I want 
Okay, so let's see. I, I well, let, let's sum up that cinematic. I went inside, saw my other self. The mirror shattered and shot glass at me, which would impale me and probably lacerate me horribly. And then I picked up a, a tiny piece of glass. A broken piece of mirror. I hope I don't get bad luck. Okay. The glass literally shot out at me, like a shotgun shot of glass. That... <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't be okay. The water, it's so dirty. No, not the water. I can't see the bottom. Not the water, the clown. His breath smells funny. What's with these clowns in their... Oh, wait a minute, are they all... They're all drinking vodka, isn't... aren't they? It looks like he's holding a bottle. I'm guessing that's what all those empty bottles of vodka are about. My name's Sarah. What's yours? Well, I'll be <laughs> a leprechaun. Where's your pot of gold, little leprechaun? <laughs> I'm not a leprechaun. I'm a girl. Uh, you don't fool me, leprechaun. <laughs> My name is Laughing Larry. <laughs> Show me to your pot of gold. I think it's supposed to sound like he's in a gas mask, but... It just sounds like someone used a really bad reverb or something like that. It doesn't sound at all like he's in a gas mask. Do you like it here at the circus? No, sure. <laughs> Nothing beats waiting to die of starvation or being eaten alive by some freak! <laughs> oh, let the good times roll! <laughs> okay. Don't you guys have enough food? Uh, maybe enough for a month or so, but once a giant squid eats all the fish around here, we're screwed. <laughs> you can help us, can't you, little leprechaun? You can... <laughs> I'm screwed! Eaten alive, you mean? That squid's gonna eat us all, I tell you! We're all doomed! <laughs> Okay, goodbye. Wonderful stimulating conversation there. 